here's a suggestion. Try not to break your PC for 10 seconds challenge. All right, all right, here we go. I'll try it. Nah, it's just too much fun. Today I'm crashing Minecraft with your dumb suggestions. I'm sometimes astounded with the dumb. If your comment manages to crash or freeze my game, then you as the audience get one point. But if my computer can handle it and doesn't crash, then I get a point. Most points at the end of this video wins. But what do they win? A crisp high five. But before you get a chance at that, huge thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Guys, they sent me a house. And this house isn't any ordinary house. This house has Opera GX in it. And would you look at that? We're already watching my videos on the TV. This is off to a great start. Here's a question. Are you tired of boring old regular browsers that only have one design or maybe like a dark mode? Well, Opera GX allows you to customize your browser just as much as you can customize your Minecraft world. We use a lot of mods here on my channel and Opera GX allows you to use mods within their browser. Just head to this mods tab. Then head to the store page and download a few to get started. Want to make everything lo-fi and chill? Try using lo-fi chill. What about cyber deck where everything is cyberpunk and cool? Check out these sounds. I can even turn Opera GX into this beautiful blockified version with music. Look at that. I actually kind of like this one. I might keep this one. <laughs> but what if you don't want to change the entire experience of Opera GX? You can just get an animated wallpaper from Opera add-ons like this one. And now it's beautiful. But I've got another question for you. Is your browser using up so much RAM that your game is struggling? Well, Opera GX actually has a feature for that as well. It's called GX Control and it allows you to limit the amount of RAM, CPU, or network that your browser uses at any given time. I'm just going to set a couple couple parameters here. Now just take a look at that crazy difference. But Narfi, you may be saying, I've been using another browser for years and I don't want to change anything because all of my bookmarks and my browser history is all there and everything is there and I don't want to move. Oh, don't worry. Opera GX has a solution for that too. Like seriously, what can these guys not do? It's called the Quick Import Tool, and it allows you to import literally everything from a previous browser so you can pick up right where you left off. This includes settings, browsing history, bookmarks, cookies, and even browser extensions. Just hit import and it will all be there. To use Opera GX completely for free today, check out the link in my description to download it. I've been using it for a super long time now and I highly recommend it. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Make all stone TNT and make dirt into fire. Well, I've done all the stone as you can see there. <laughs> this looks absolutely ridiculous. And I've gone ahead and turned all the grass into dirt so that I can very easily just turn it all into fire. This is the limits of where this is going to explode. And oh man, I think this is going to be insane. And here we go. This could be really interesting. Uh, we just replaced friggin' 448,000 blocks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this village doesn't stand a chance. And everything is about to go extremely ridiculously. <laughs> oh no, I can already see it happening. Um, this is gonna take a while, so we'll see you shortly. How to crash. Step one, make a sword with level nine, 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 nine. Put it in a grindstone crash game. Unfortunately, I couldn't make a sword with that many nines, but I could make a sword with this many nines, even though it only shows up as level 255. How many hits does it take to kill the warden? Four. <laughs> what about you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three hits for the wither. That is a pretty good sword. So what happens when we remove all the enchantments? Not much. <laughs> Unfortunately, with the way that Minecraft works, experience points combine together. You will notice that I'll go up a few experience points, but nothing close to crash the game. But what about a sword with all of the enchantments? Let's find out. Still not quite. So unfortunately for you, I win this point. Subscarb. I agree. Please subscribe. <laughs> In fact, if you take a look at this graph of watch time from subscribers, you'll notice that 79.1% of people are not subscribed. So if you want to be part of that 20.9% of people that are subscribed, you should hit that subscribe button down below today. It's completely free and you can always unsubscribe later. <laughs> Would you subscribe if I gave you this gremlin? Take the gremlin, please. Please take the gremlin. That's right. Subscribe for child. <laughs> Anyways, ask your PC to blue screen. Hey man, would you consider just like a blue screen for me? Thanks, that'd be great. Of course, sir. Initiating malfunction now. Hey! <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not real. Uh, <laughs> we'll get there someday. <laughs> Place a floor of chests with all the items in it like usual and use commands to destroy all of them in one go. Interesting idea, let's see what happens. By now I'm sure you know the drill, we're just gonna put a couple things in these chests. And today we're just gonna use regular items because I don't wanna write a book. Four layers deep and it gets laggy, so let's use this one. Oh no, as I was placing things, it started breaking. No! Uh. Oh no! <laughs> All my hard work is gone. Is it at least this? No? Really? This? Only this one. Okay, let's just use this one. <laughs> oh no. I tried cloning it up and it's breaking things. Oh man. 
<laughs> we haven't even done the prompt yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what happened here? What in the world? Oh no, it's already frozen. This poor world file. What did I do? I got too greedy with the clone command. <laughs> All right, fine. New world. All right, once again, only three layers deep, but it should be much more performance intensive after we break everything. Okay, we're only going to clone this once. That's the wrong spot. Okay, we'll just clone it two times, but I'm not going to get greedy. I'm not going to get greedy. Just those. J that's it. All right, I have the command. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's... Hmm. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna recover from this. Yep, that's a successful crash. Even if I wasn't gonna give you points before, you definitely got points just now. Oh wow, some of it hasn't even turned yet. Look at that, that's actually kind of wild. Look directly underneath me though. Look at that absolute chaos that is about to happen. You can see so many of them are lit up. My frames are non-existent, but we're, we're making it, we're making it. Oh my gosh, do you see those two cows on top of that house? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. You can make it, guys. There's nothing that could possibly go wrong. Break 356 block tall, drip leaf times 64. Hey, I'm stuck down here. What have you done? <laughs> so this is 64 drip leaf plants, and I need to figure out how to get them all the way up to the top of this hole. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so I have the big drip leaf up here. I wonder if I can do this. Go all the way back down into this hole. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Big drip leaf stem. <gasps> it worked. It's just a big platform of drip leaf up here. This whole thing is very small because this is eight by eight, uh, which means it's 64. So we're testing the comment directly. But here we go first. Whee! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this comment and that is going to destroy all of them. <laughs> That's a lot of items and it's just gonna keep coming. It's just going. And it's just going to be raining these for a little while. That's a lot of drip leaf. All right, that's the end of the rain. Look at them all. <laughs> it's not really lagging me out, though. So I think this one is a win for me. That one actually went way better than I thought it would. So great idea. But uh, yeah, the point goes to me. I think the trick is to blue screen your computer to blue screen your computer. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? All I got to do is hit enter. Of course. Uh, of course. Of course. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. But technically that's a blue screen. So fine. Take the point. Just take the point. It's yours. Uh, hi Terry. Do you want to, you want to say something? You got something to say, Terry? Uh, Terry. Ter Terry, calm, calm down, Terry. Terry. Terry, no. Terry, stop. Ter Terry, take, take the point. Is that enough? Terry, wait. Wait, Terry, no, please. No, no. If you do another one of these, you should do something similar to the chest thing. Step one, make a pit of fire. Trust me, it's important. Bam, I've uh, started a grass fire. <laughs> Step two, grab a chest and fill it with netherite ingots. Netherite is required. Okie doke. Alrighty. Step three, copy the chest. Awesome. Fill a separate chest with copies of the first chest. Alright. Rinse and repeat until it's filled with enough netherite to craft a full netherite beacon for every player on every server, or at least it feels like it would. Yeah, that's getting there. That's pretty good. I see where this is going. Alright, this chest is here. Take the final chest and drop it in the pit of fire. All right, if I just hover over it, it does this. So what happens if I just throw it? Oh, it just, uh, it just burns? I guess it just burns. Uh, huh. <laughs> what if I break this chest? Yeah, they all just burn. Um, hold on. I have an idea. Okay, so this only works with shulker boxes, but the trouble is you can't put shulker boxes inside of shulker boxes. Unless, of course, you use commands, but the command that I was trying to use is too long for a command block even. This right here is the full command. It starts right up there and then it goes all the way down. What that would have done if it had worked would give me a shulker box full of shulker boxes that had a bunch of netherite ingots in them, but unfortunately it doesn't. But what if I trim it? Oh, that might have worked. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh! What happens if I place this down? Oh my gosh! And what do these shulker boxes have? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, but wait, what the? So it just doesn't work? Oh man! I really like this idea, but unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, if you have any idea how to make it work, leave a comment down below. We're gonna leave this one as a tie because I actually don't know who would have won. Also, I just don't want to steal it from you. So tie. Boy, oh boy, I love sitting here doing nothing for hours at a time. This is my job now. <laughs>
<laughs> Somehow those cows are still surviving. I don't know how they're still surviving. Everything is just slowly getting brighter. Those cows are kind of killing it right now. I th did not think they would survive this long, but here they are. There's also a pig up there, so props to that guy. I'm waiting to see some actual damage happening. It looks like things are just kind of lighting up slowly but surely. Otherwise, there's not much happening. So I'm gonna leave you be until next time. <sighs> Prove you're smart. All right, just gonna leave that there. Use bedrock first. Spawn a horse and use command slash effect at p speed 999 255 on the horse and ride the horse. Man, I have not played bedrock edition in ages. <laughs> but here we go. Here's a horse. Let's tame it. Be my friend, please. Wow, that was actually first try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and saddle and beautiful. We're wandering around. This one's actually kind of slow. But we can change that. All right, here we go. Now the horse is ridiculously fast. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I, we got stuck in the water. Hey, come on, let's go. Get out of the water, please. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> bro, come on. Get out of the water. Let's go. But don't speed. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Got into the shallow area. Let's see what happens. Zoom. Let's get into like the middle of this field. What if I also give him jump boost? All right, jump boost and boing. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's hope the fall damage doesn't do anything. Here we go. Back to Earth. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, I can make it to the water! Yo! <laughs> hey, he's fine. Come on, buddy, I need to get you to a shallow area. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, all right, he's going back to the land by himself. Cool, great. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, 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 okay, we're good, and boing! I just realized you can move with the horse in the air, and so now I'm going at the high speed of the horse in the air at the same time. Let's hope we land in the ocean. Oh, it is the ocean! Uh, wait, we might not. Wait, 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 oh, oh! The horse is fine. Huh. All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, oh, I got him in the air. <laughs> Yo. Well, this is definitely a great way to travel, but uh, doesn't seem to be breaking the game. So uh, points to me. This one's going to be a while. This one, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to wait this one out. Oh, explosion sound. That's a first. We haven't heard any explosions yet. I think we're going to start hearing those more consistently. Uh, so that's cool. I don't visually see any of the explosions yet, but 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 we'll see what happens. <laughs> Close Minecraft. Place way too many enchanting tables. All right. Yep. None of them spawned with books. Oh. Oh. Some of them did. What if I like boop? Do one here and then go there. What if I do this? Yeah, they don't spawn the books. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, this might actually work. First, we got to set it all to dirt. Where's my dirt? Where's my dirt at? Oh, wait, is it all... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. First, we gotta set it all to dirt. This is just over two million blocks that we're going to change here. And now we set them to enchanting tables, which should, in theory, hope it froze. <laughs> in theory, this should spawn them all with books. Um, and it, oh, yeah, that's, do, those, those are books. Those are certainly books. It is certainly a lot of books. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> I'm getting like a solid one frame every three seconds. Oh my gosh. That is a sight right there. <laughs> the thing is, it's not crashing my game, but it is making it unplayable. In the past, I've definitely given points out for being unplayable, so that's what we'll do today. Good job, point to you. Breaking Minecraft, right? Delete it. <laughs> Man, this is cool and all looking at a screen that's not changing at all, but I'm gonna go get a snack. Anything, anything happening over here? Anything going on? Uh, no? Uh, okay, back to my snack. No way. It actually crashed. <laughs> the snack was very good. I got goldfish. It was delicious. Um, but now it looks like everything broke. That is exactly what we wanted. Uh, that took like 25 minutes to actually fully crash. So well done. You get the point. Congratulations. 
You won again. At this point, I don't even know what I'm expecting. You guys are so good at destroying my computer that I don't think I can keep up. But it doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. So I'll give you this crisp high five, but you have to give me a comment of what I can do next. Maybe, just maybe, I'll pick yours. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, 